Ready. Rolling. Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Ocho! Kenneth, the Rhino. We the have of a cooler Rhino. tonight. So I guess it's the Albino Rhino Cooler <laughs> Review. Um, now this cooler makes me have high expectations because it's it says it's the perfect mix of whiskey and lemonade. The perfect mix. Perfect. Now Ew. I like me a whiskey sour, so I'm excited about this. I have a feeling it's going to be like a whiskey sour without the sugar rim. It is Jack Daniels and lemonade. 6% alcohol, 473 milliliters. Jack Daniels and lemonade. Jack and lemonade. I got a story about Jack Daniels. He kicked a safe and died from it? The first time I drank Jack Daniels, I was hanging out with a Serbian goth chick in a graveyard. We drank Jack Daniels, and she lit candles and read me poetry. It was awesome. Did you get that? I tried. It didn't work. I guess she was a goth. Eh. And she lit candles. I thought it was awesome. Did she have a cauldron? No. Oh, she wasn't a real goth. Come on. Not like one of our good friends. Oh, well, it smells lemony. It looks lemony. Does smell lemony. It smells like uh the fruité lemonade. Yep. Six percent alcohol. What kind of jack is six percent? It's because it's mixed with lemonade. Alright. It's a shot of jack with four hundred and sixty milliliters of fucking lemonade. Fair enough. Well it's not a shot, I think if you do the math it's like two shots of jack in here. I'd hope so. And it can that big. I could do the math, but I'm getting drunk, so I'm not doing it. But it doesn't smell bad. It smells like the fruité, though. Kind of tastes like the fruité. I don't know if I like this. I was hoping for, like, a better Jack flavor than what it delivers. Well. It's basically a whiskey sour. You're not going to get a jack flavor because the lemonade takes the jack flavor away for the most part. There is a slight jacky flavor to it, but not till the end. Yeah, but not the good part of the jacky flavor. Mm -mm. This needs like two more shots of jack in it. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be allowed to be sold as a cooler. We could add shots of jack to it. We could, but I'm not going to. It tastes like a shitty version of a uh, whiskey sour. Carbonated water, Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> That's the ingredients. Glucose, fructose, natural flavors, citric acid, sodium, citrate, potassium, sorbate, sodium, benzoate. So not even actual real lemonade. Like I said, fruit <laughs> Sodium, benzoate. <coughs> it's um, if you're just looking for, uh, if you're just looking for this to be convenient not to mix it yourself that's the only reason I buy this the problem I have with these coolers is really if you mix this yourself it tastes better it tastes better and it, it's more alcoholic and really what's the point just convenience for the most part um, okay this is like the commercial that shows you that oh I lost my train of thought there's a commercial that, that like oh yeah that implies that uncorking a bottle of wine <laughs> yeah, that's is right. inconvenient. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> I don't know why. You ever I'm see that doing. commercial? No. They're like doing this bottle of wine. It's like oh you can wait and uncork your bottle of wine. Puff. <laughs> but who wants to wait for that? It takes like fifty minutes for this guy to uncork a bottle of wine. Almost a fail. We we did Very that close. at work now. At work we went from <laughs> corked bottles of wine for everything to pretty much everything has a twist top now at work. That tells me one thing, guys, and it doesn't matter who you are or what you're trying to tell me, it tells me one specific thing about your wine. You are not fucking premium if you're not corked. That's like a box of baby duck. <laughs> Working in the bar scene, baby duck box aside. Baby anyway, duck. I think to answer your question, Ken, the reason for most of this stuff, especially being in a can, um, it's a summer release, and I think they do it so you can bring it to a beach because you can't have glass on a beach. So they put these things into a can. So yeah, but you... anyone who's anyone will just bring it to the beach anyways. Yeah, they're just Pay trying. Over. Yeah, well, they're just trying to 
help sort that out. That's right. You feed this to the young 18-year-olds, and yeah, they'll think they're drinking something amazing too. Because they've never shit, had, you get their they've never had a proper whiskey sour. <laughs> and everybody knows Jack Daniels is badass, right? It is. So. It's like right. maximum ice. I heard one time he punched out Steven Seagal and Chuck Norris. He and back. Steven Seagal. After watching the, Here's the quiz for everybody. Michael Ironside maximum ice cream. Here's the quiz for everybody here, since I'm sure none of you have been to the Jack Daniels distillery. How did Jack Daniels die? He kicked the safe. He kicked the safe and got an infection in his foot and died from the infection. Really? Yeah. That's really bad. That's like being crushed by a vending machine. I know. <laughs> yeah, that is actually. But um, like back to this. I'll give it a five out of ten. It doesn't taste bad, but there's no real reason to do it other than convenience. Or as James said, if you're gonna take it to a beach. But really, it tastes bad. It doesn't taste like it's I don't supposed find to. It tastes bad. It just doesn't taste. It tastes like what it I said. Fruité with Jack. It's like a chili. It's shit. Don't get it. It's a crappy cooler. I think if you make it cooler, it should taste like you made it. You know, smearing off ice. Excellent. It, it's like, whatever that white shit is in vodka. Good stuff. <laughs> A semen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we already know there's no lemon in it, so whatever. <laughs> Maybe the best moment ever. Oh, you give this out of ten, Ken. This is vodka. That's Four. awesome. So, 4 out of 10 from Ken and a 5 out of 10 from me. Thank you for watching the Albino Cooler Review. Bye.